Oh my god. You guys. Fucking calm down. <laughs> it wasn't that long. <laughs> I refused, damn it. I'm sorry. I had to. I made. I made a drink. I made a. The Keurig had to warm up, and it took a minute. It was. It was a ordeal. I'm sorry. Did I poop? No, I didn't. I didn't even get poop time. I just made a drink. Also, I got the updated Rogostat cup. It has the black on the inside. Like the color is filled all the way in. Eh. Yeah. Now I have two of them. Double Rogostat cups. Like his soul. Yeah, exactly. I'm glad somebody gets it. Black on the inside. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, now you gotta wait for me to poo and pee later on my break when I take my break. The music does not fit the theme of our conversation at all. A power poo? Yeah, it will be, don't worry. Alright. We just go. We're on our way. Actually, oh, what am I doing? I hit the M button like M does something in this game. Yeah, it just takes you to Kanto. 26. We have to go up to Victory Road. Like Voldemort's? Yeah. I think Pan meant Rogastat's soul, but also accurate. Also accurate. Only only a Voldemort level soul would be capable of stealing so many billions of isk from such a respectable and noble alliance. Rita, I need you to fuck some shit up. We're we're gonna we're going on the warpath. We're gonna need to be like level a hundred. Just just go. Check my map. I I know what I did. Oh, I gotta go up there, don't I? Can I go down here first? Can I skip that? Let's see. Oh, we're a candy. Excellent. Uh, yeah, now is an okay time to just drop a rare candy. Fine. Not evolving. I swear to God. That's literally just a, like, skill check to make sure that you actually have the, uh, to make sure you actually have Waterfall and you finish the, the gems. That's funny. Oh, really? Okay. That's pretty rude. Level 32. Pathetic. Get 
off my field. Brr. Body slam. Amazing. Who would have thought I'd use body slam in such a unique and special way? Nice. A sandstorm. That would be really cool if I could use sandstorm. Whoosh. Let's skip this guy. I want to try to just get through, get past any of the unnecessary trainers. Try to get there as fast as I can. Meanwhile, I'm going to hit both of these guys. Apparently. Psychic like Gilbert. I guess that counts. Body massage. Execute. Nope. Cracked eggs. Oh, sure, after is cool. That would have been a good Pokemon to start with, too. That would have been cool. <sighs> Oops. So what are you guys up to? How was your day? How was your Monday? Are we doing good? Oh, Kettle, you get good news about your test. I remember that. <clears throat> you had it off? Freaking reconciliation. What is that? Yeah. I don't know what that means. Beer sounds good, though. Did you just tweet at me? Did. That sucks. That actually really I hate I hate when that happens. It's like one bus decides it's not gonna play nice and show up on time and so you miss every bus after and you have to wait. Oh, solar beam. Well that's good. That means I can teach myself solar beam later. Okay, that makes sense. Now, we don't really have one of those days here in the U.S. Uh, we just call it Columbus Day, and those who know, know. It's absolutely an if-you-know-you-know you know kind of thing here. Which, it shouldn't be like that, but it is. Is it really? Okay. Still, better late than never.
Axe Elixir. Those, those are going to be very helpful for the Elite Four. What's up, Dark? Welcome. How are you feeling, buddy? He's got Golduck. That one I should have caught earlier. The bridge stream? Right on. That's good. I'm glad that you're making progress. I should have caught one a long time ago. I know. I know, Gettle. You were right. That's fair. Uh-oh. Oh good, it only used Fury Attack. Nice. Uh... From my experience... Uh, like, talking to people... Well, I, I say my experience. People who I talk to who had COVID, for the most part, everything that made a flu feel better worked to treat it. Please go right through. That's right. Actually, what do you guys do? Not silver. Okay. I don't remember which way to go, to be completely honest. Don't need another HP up, that's fine. I'm doing okay. Uh, I had a very enlightening meeting today with at my work. Uh, my boss basically dropped a, a bunch of information on me about some stuff so <clears throat> i don't know if you're if you're in knob stream i mentioned it there but um basically for like the last two months my job has been stupid hard it's just been ridiculous and we've all been upset we've all been like clamoring for them to just hire more people because we're so understaffed um yeah like we we all thought that it was a staffing issue that we were just understaffed and we had so much extra volume and we just weren't doing it you know we weren't able to keep up with it we we're drowning and um so he's like you know look it's not it's not really like that hi booba it's not really um it's not what you think it is and i was like well what you know like from our perspective that's what we've got is that it's you know, we just don't have enough people. We're not we're not getting enough done in a day to keep up. Yeah, I mean, that's true, but we would we would be happy to train an extra three or four agents. That's what we're asking. We're not asking for a hundred. We're asking for like three or four decent agents and we'll train them. We don't really have a proper like formal training class. We just kind of do uh, like a mentorship, I guess, to train people. Which is fine. Um, but they kept kind of whinging on it and giving us really political answers. Like kind of doing the answer your question with a question kind of nonsense that politicians give. And uh, and today he was just like, so two weeks ago we got our, like we actually got reports that we were, we've been waiting for, that we need. And... Um, He's like, I can't share everything with you because it's some of it's private and some of it is, you know, like internal company things. But here, and he sent me part of the report, which shows the, um, it shows the, 
the follow-up time. So in at my work at least. Uh ow. Jerk. Uh so at my work you've got uh your active time is when you're like ready to take a call. And then you have after call work, which is like right after a call, you have this little delay before you get rolled into another call. It's like a minute. And if you if you need more time than like a minute after the call, you can drop yourself into follow up. So like, say customer gives you a really difficult thing to work on, you finish most of it, but you're wrapping up notes just to make sure everything is in order. You drop into follow up for a couple minutes. Usually it's like an extra minute or two just so you can get your shit together. But during that time, you're not available. You won't take a call. So that's, you know, it's necessary. So you can keep your head on straight. Well, we're supposed to average per week about two and a half hours total of this time, roughly. And um, turns out <laughs> that, oh no, I'm dead. All right, well, that's that. Um, turns out that people um, have not been following that rule. And, uh, we have some people with, like, 10 hours in a week. Or more in a week. Apparently last week we had somebody who had 17 hours in a week. That means that they took... Oh no. I didn't actually want to attack him. They took, um... In a week, that's that's a, a week of of being out of it. So, you know, out of a 40 hour work week, right? It's not it's not quite that bad, but. Um, but yeah, uh, that's like three hours a day. Three hours a day that they just you only have future sight. There you go. 16 hours is two days, right. But they didn't do it all together. They did it over the course of a whole week. So they, they took up... Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, I get what you mean. They took up two days worth of, of time. Uh, I, I They do. I'm pretty positive they do. But, um... Wow, he's just going to spam Future Sight. That's really a bad move to just use in general. I gotta wait for your next future site. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Um. Anyway. So. So basically, there's multiple people doing stuff like this. It's not just like one or two. It's like a third of the call center. Yeah. So we're all we're all upset and like, oh my god, we have so much shit we got to work on, and we're never getting caught up. Meanwhile, there's people who are literally just sitting and doing nothing oh he's flash um they're they're just sitting on it and doing nothing or there's a guy who has tw so okay if you miss a call so i have mine set up differently so i, I have mine set up so that um uh, i auto answer so if i get a phone call then it it automatically goes through right and um like i pick up automatically there's no way for me to decline a call or let it roll over or anything it automatically will pick up so they have if you if you miss a call normally uh it becomes a it turns you it puts you into system it assumes there's something wrong with you wrong with your phone and it puts you into system so that you can fix it well, this guy, in the course of nine minutes, one day, in nine minutes, he had 23 instances of dropping into system in the same nine-minute period. So he was letting a call come in. He missed that call, let it ring, 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 goes to the next agent, basically, then readied up, let it ring, 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 ring to the next agent, then hung up or what like basically just did that over and over and over again for nine minutes 
it's it's just shit like this it's all this whole time that we've been like badgering our managers to get new people to come in the reason that they're not hiring and the reason why they're like you know we got to look at some numbers first we're not going to do that is because they suspected this stuff but they didn't want to say that they were suspecting this stuff to the people who are bitching because some of the people who are bitching are the people who are guilty of doing this probably not dark nothing there there's almost no way that you could do that on accident there'd have to be a problem like, you'd have to have, like, to do it 23 times, after the first or second time, if there's a problem, you should correct that problem, right? Like, oh, I'm not hearing the calls come in, and so they're rolling over, right? Fine. But the fact that you did it 23 times in 9 minutes tells me that you knew exactly what was happening, and you just kept doing it. I'm I'm really like I was blown away. This me we had an hour long meeting. We're only supposed to have like 15 minutes. We talked for an hour. Well, that that's the thing, Kettle. He wasn't actually gone the whole time because he kept readying back up. It doesn't automatically put you back in ready. It leaves you in system, thinking there's a problem, or that maybe you forgot to put yourself in a in a break code or something, right? So. It's supposed to be a failsafe, so you don't have this happen. Instead, he just dumped 23 calls. And had them roll over to other agents, basically. Yeah. It's some, some nonsense going on here. <laughs> yeah, I, and... Like, my boss gets it. He understands. He's... We were talking about it at length, about just how how this, one, it's impressive that it's so widespread, and I've never seen that in any call. I was just always one, right? I have never, I've worked in a lot of call centers, and I've always had one or two people who, I know, I know they're gaming the system, they're fucking around, right? That's normal. That's everywhere you go, any job, right? There's always some dick who's like, you know, he takes an extra 15 minute break or something or leaves a little early or shaves a little time off the off the, you know, off the time card. Yeah, it is. It is. But even on other remote remote um, call centers that I've worked at, it's never been this bad. No, no, no. So, okay. So, say you're calling me, Dark. You're calling me, and then it rings like three times, and I have to hit answer. If I if I don't have it set automatically, I have mine set automatically. So it just you just ring through. But it rings like three times, and then it fails. It puts your your status from like active to from active to system. And then it leaves you in system until you come and manually move it back to active. You have to tell it to put you in active. So he he had to tell himself to go back into active. And then another call rolled through. And then he did it again. And again. And again. 23 times in 9 minutes. Maybe. I That I could see, like a macro. Uh, whatever it was, it's not doing him any favors. And Pan, I agree if it's something that's avoidable, or if it was an error. This is not an error. This is intentional. Like, this is malicious. And the the majority of call centers that I've ever worked at you might get told once, don't ever do that again. But if you ever do it again, you don't have a job anymore. There's no work protection in that front. Because you're abusing the customer and you're scamming the company. That's it. No, Pretty much no state in the US will protect your job at that point. Time theft is time theft. Yeah. 
is it's wage theft at that point because you're you're clocking in you're not actually doing your job it's is it's the same thing as if i punched in and i just went and took a nap uh we don't know yet so they just got this information they just got this information two weeks ago they talked to people last week i got the numbers like the stats or whatever for this week um so they were bad like i they're they're real bad and um and the people who were on the list that i saw are still here because that was pulled as of monday this morning for uh end of day friday And that's an improvement, according to my boss, from the week before. Some people have been talked to already. Um, some of it seems to be unintentional. Which is fine. Honestly, I, I don't... Like, there is way there are ways of, like, accidentally having a ridiculous amount of time. Or, like, there's a guy who took a two-hour lunch. Uh, that was one of the things he mentioned, that somebody had taken just, like, a two-hour... Straight up taken a two-hour lunch. Maybe there was some extenuating circumstances. Like, there was a reason he had to take a long lunch. And maybe he mentioned it to his boss. So we don't, we don't know, right? He's on another team. But... The, the people who took, like seven hours of break time over the course of a week mind you we get two 15s a day you work five days a week how the fuck do you get seven hours um stuff like that yeah we get two 15s we we get a lunch but that's counted separately we we get a lunch and then we get two 15s one in the beginning one at the end you guys do it different do you get more breaks than us do you get like one hour plus two fifteens i feel like that's normal for an eight hour shift every two hours hey rogastat thank you for the grenade sounds in my pokemon I, I yeah i imagine it does but that's that's pretty normal i think isn't it pan it's not like, um... Oh no, I'm not packed. I don't really pack up for this stuff. <clears throat> you don't have a set start stop time. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I mean, I've worked jobs like that too, where that's that's up to you. Um, but most most nine to five jobs you work like if you're working eight hours a day, you work your first two hours, take a 15, maybe a 10 and then work two hours. Yeah, I, I've done that kind of work before, too. That's that is different. But if you're a wage slave, then you're you're working like two hours, take a break, two hours, take a lunch, two hours, take a break, two hours, go home. That's that's the normal. Like most most people probably do that. Um when I did when I did QA, uh I didn't even have to worry about that. When I was a contractor for QA, uh I literally was just like, here are my reports for the month. All of them. Goodbye, don't ask questions, give me my money. <laughs> Yeah, an hour lunch is pretty standard. I think minimum is I think minimum is forty minutes or thirty minutes for lunches. Not sure. Yeah, your salary. That's that's what we would call it, a salary. Or contractor. Oh, you, no, no, not you, Kettle. I'm talking to Pam. I know you're hourly, Kettle. Mm. 
No, you're a hoe. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, anyhow, anyway, but I mean, even then, seven hours over the course of a week of just break time, not lunch, just break stuff like that. I. I don't even know, man. I don't know how how they can get a like. How they can think that's a good idea or like to think that you're going to get away with it. Yeah, well, Pan, if you're if you're a, a data analyst like the. The important part is you get the analyzing stuff done. Right, like you that you do the job, uh, which makes total sense. Uh, it it adds up. At the end of the day, your job is done. Your job is done. That's that's it. Uh, for us, we have to provide live active service, and we have to be productive to get that service done. And it turns out that we're not just understaffed to not get that service done. We just have a shitload of assholes who don't want to work. And I don't mean in the, like, kids these days don't want to work kind of way. Just, they're obviously just fucking with the system. And we're just now finding out about it, which is definitely a problem with management. That's not, that's just management fuck up. Uh, which is disappointing. But, like, management's not squeaky clean here. But the reason for all the problems is not... Yeah, they got away with it for so long. But even even if they were getting away with it that whole time, like that's not entirely uh why did I have such a hard time with that fight before? Obliterated him. Um Yeah, it's not like Ah, it's it's really mind blowing. Like I'm still kind of reeling from that information because he just handed me the data. And then we talked at length about, like, this is it. This is why we're having such a hard time with this. Yeah, Kettle is... Kettle, you're doing, like, straight-up labor, though. Like, you have to be productive, and you have to get jobs done. <laughs> that... Yeah, that gets me, too. And, like, my boss pointed out accurately, like, hey... You know, the, you know, the one of the things that we keep running into is that you guys all and he's like, you guys being the employees, you're upset for good reason, because you guys feel like you're doing a bunch of work and nothing is changing. But the, um, you know, it's it's created this echo chamber of like, this is the problem. This is the solution. Why aren't you guys doing the solution? What's wrong with management? Yada, yada. And then we, you know, we we're trying to get the information. We finally get the information. And now we're finding that a lot of the people who are complaining at us and the loudest about you just need to hire more people are the same people who are fucking off. So. He's like, I, I'm not going to name names because it's bad to do that. It's probably, you know, not not a good idea. But the same people who you are palling around with and like friends with and and talking to about this and bouncing ideas off of uh, to discuss the problems at work are also the people who are fucking off and making it a problem. So. Like it's. It's rough because you don't really know who to trust at this point. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to go home. Thank you. Go. Yeah. It's infuriating. It's like I'm so, I'm in a a mix of like like oh that's the answer finally, and 
just being angry, I guess. You know, like I'm, I'm, I'm pissed off that we we've been trying really hard to make stuff happen, and and the reason it's not is because of people being greedy. I don't know. Oh, I can't carry any more items. Let's sell stuff. Uh, next revive. We actually don't need these. We'll sell them. Protein. We don't need that. Can't use it. TP up we might need. We have some hyper potions. We can sell the calcium. Definitely need that. I need. I wish I had more, like elixirs and ethers. Can't even buy ethers here. Hmm. I think this is it. This is the beginning. It's... It's a lot, man. It's crazy that it's been going on, and it's been going on for a while. And the, the other, like, the amoral part of it is that this wasn't a problem before. Uh, and by before, I mean uh, before one, the manager who used to do ops management. Oh, what happened? Oh my god, that hurt. Of course, the Zatu Chris immediately. What happened, Dark? Tell me. Give me good news. I'm I'm ranting at the moment. This guy's probably gonna survive a couple of hits, yeah. Oh yeah, good. Little calcified thing that was once in an infection sack. Oh. Oh, nice. I'm glad your I'm glad your toe is feeling better. Infuse ray. That's not good. We're out here. We're gonna bulldog our way through the elite four. I tell you what. Slow bro. And I wish I had Mega Drain. That'd be awesome. Oh yeah, he's gonna stack that. Oh thank god. Okay. Curse. He cursed himself. It's fine. I'll take it. Let's get out of here. That's one down, guys. One down. Congratulations on that. This. Next. Uh... Toga, remember you. <clears throat> so, what I was saying is the, uh, the other amoral part of that is that we started having problems after gentleman who used to run it passed away. Like, he literally died abruptly. 
It was an accident of some kind, I believe. 